all right guys today we are back with my latest video this is the pros and cons video for our 05 mini cooper convertible and as you can see it is an absolutely beautiful day it's like 85 degrees first real nice day we've had in a while but it is a little windy so excuse any wind noise um we got this car in august of 2013 been enjoying it ever since um i just washed and detailed it monday so it's looking pretty nice um, so yeah, we'll get right into the video and uh, hop in and start the car up. Just got Minnie's typical, uh, let me put my sticky note down. Minnie's typical, uh, in-key system for the first gen Mini. Alright, so let's go ahead, stick the key in the ignition. And I am filming with this my filming this with my phone, so if this doesn't look as good as it normally does, uh, let me know. So we go ahead and start her up. As you can see, purrs like a kitten. No uh, dashboard warning lights, none of that. So we will uh, go ahead and roll down the window. Um, do a quick walk around with the car running. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop the hood. That is actually on the other side because it's a mini. The, the latch, the first gen mini is the latch. It's actually on this side of the vehicle. So you just pull that. And we'll go ahead. Up. It is drive assisted. Roll 1.6 four cylinder. All right. And that is closed on both sides. Alright, so we will start with the cons, you know, and with some good news. So, um, we are going to put the top down because it is a beautiful day. But um, I, there are a few cons that involve the interior of the car. Build quality is great, the materials are all very nice and fit well, and they're mostly soft touch. So that's all good. Uh, my con here is the rear visibility. Uh, as you can see, with the top up, it is awful. Um, look at those blind spots. <laughs> um, front is great, A pillars aren't too thick, and uh, B pillars don't exist because this is a convertible. Um, a complaint, the hood is rather low, so if I'm sitting here, um, this is my driving position and I'm five foot four. I can't really see the hood, as you can see, I can see the left part of it there, but now I can if I move the camera up, but yeah. Um, so yeah, rear visibility is very bad. Um, there's not much, and these headrests block the way, and there's no way to remove them or lower them or anything like that. So my second con, uh, is another thing with the top, and it's not necessarily your, not necessarily visibility, but as you can see, I climbed in the back seat here, super easy. Again, the back seat is also quite comfortable, um, especially for what it is. Sorry, I just got my finger in the camera. Um, it's dark back here when, and more. This is more so when it's dark outside and that sort of thing. But when the top is up, it's dark back here. They could put it pretty easily put a dome light right there or maybe even right here but you know the these windows here the smaller quarter windows don't come in a ton back here and it just makes for a dark area I guess and like I said the rear window is small so we will um, hop out of the back seat there which it's not that hard to climb in um, the front seat does not move forward when you flip it but the passenger seat does this is my driving position and I can climb in just fine so we will go ahead and open the top so we'll shut the door and hit this button right here first it goes into sunroof mode so you can have a nice sunroof if you don't want the whole top open and then just press and hold again windows go down and the top goes back. And we'll go ahead, put the windows down, 
these buttons uh, initially they control these back windows so you can open them let's say you have the top up you can open all four windows but um, yeah and then there's that so uh, still on our cons you can't take this car through an automatic car wash it's because it's a convertible all that I get it you know but it's kind of annoying you can take it to the ones that you know you get out and you spray it on the car yourself all that and we've taken it to those um, when I washed this I detailed it in the driveway and so yeah um, it cleans up really nice um, there is a fair amount of rock chips this car it actually was down in Florida before the previous owner bought it we are the fourth owner as you can see there's a pretty deep one right there I don't know if you can see that on camera or not there's a few of them here and there you know if we got to some touch-up paint it'd be fine I'll mention that more in the 70,000 mile update which once we get back inside we can check the mileage um, uh, fourth con is the reliability and repair costs and I actually did a I wrote up a paper I wrote and just kind of figured out what have we done to the car um, if you want to I can put everything we've done to the car down in the description um, with exactly what we replaced um, I do know we replaced this left uh, convertible top latch broke I don't know if it was in here or this you know in here but we replaced the left one and the right one because you order them in a pair you know but the top wouldn't open one summer so that was annoying that was last summer um, we did some suspension um, I don't remember the exact parts um, I can look that up and we there's an oil leak that we had fixed um, and I believe that's it we put tires on it um, that's not a liability issue and repair costs are expensive when you have them this car um, being mini being owned by BMW costs a lot to repair them um, and in practicality that's something that being a mini and a convertible you don't expect it rear seats are a bit tight for four I have fit four um, and the trunk is minuscule I took this to a school presentation the other night and I had to bring a folding card table you know I don't know how big it was probably eight by eight or something like that it was a square card table and it wouldn't fit even if I folded the seats down it was just this trunk space was too narrow I was able to fit a trifold poster board and some other in you know, a bag of stuff but that it, there's just not much room now the pros this is the fun stuff we'll go inside for this you guys have seen probably enough of the exterior we'll take a look at the interior um first pro fun to drive the steering is really nice and tight it's super fun to drive it's really that I think it's a pretty perfect balance between fun to drive and easy to drive you know even at lower like parking lot speeds it's bearable um, and that so that's really good um, and also the brakes that doesn't really go with fun to drive but it sort of does because you have to stop if you're driving spiritedly um, the brakes are great the previous owner put he upgraded the brakes uh, right before he got rid of the car um, my MPG, we get pretty good, and this car only has 70,000 miles, um, 69,173, just in case you were wondering, and so it doesn't, it's not super high mileage or anything like that, um, and we are averaging 23.5 miles per gallon, and let's see if we can get... Range 86 miles, we're gonna have to fill it soon. Um, so yeah, that's really good. The audio system is phenomenal. It's the upgraded Harman Kardon. Don't know if you can see their Harman Kardon on the speaker grills, but it sounds phenomenal. You have tweeters up by the door handles. It sounds so good. Um, the best I can, I can't do a sound demo because of YouTube copyright, but what I can do is, if you guys are interested, comment down below. I can post sound demos of all three of our cars to my Facebook and Instagram pages, and um, you guys can watch that there. 
so yeah, that's that. Uh, it's unique. Not many people have minis, and we can kind of step out and take a look. This is kind of a styling thing, but it's also just, you don't see a lot of them in America, especially because we like our full-size SUVs and pickup trucks and that sort of thing. Um, but this is a great car. Um, it's so unique, and I love that about it. You know, especially with our checkerboards, uh, mirror cap, and rear view mirror cap, um, that just adds to the uniqueness. I love that it's a unique car, and it's not something you see every day, and I like that. Um, next, easy to park. This is our last one. Um, it really is easy to park. Um, we can step back here and take a look at the size. It is absolutely tiny, um, and the original was smaller than this. They have gotten bigger, but it's, it's still a tiny car, and um, it makes parking really easy. Although, if you um, pull in, you know, nor you kind of want to don't pull in, you don't really want to pull in all the way because so that you can see the back of the car. Um, obviously, pull in far enough, but because if you pull in all the way, you actually can't really see the back of the car. So, other people might think there's a parking spot, but there's really not. And also, you don't find your car as easy. So that's that. Um, let's go ahead and put the top up. Although on a beautiful day like today, you definitely want to open. It is ha 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 outside. All right, that is up. We'll go ahead and shut the car down. I'll leave just a little bit of sticky note there. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, more videos on the mini or more pros and cons videos, check the link down in the description and you can subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe button, I guess. Uh, that's right near to the description. And um, if you have any video suggestions, comment down below. And like I mentioned, if you want to hear sound demos, let me know in the comments or hit the like button or both, I don't really care, because um, I will definitely be happy to do those for you guys. So thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.